For those of you that don't know, I want to be a great dramatic actress one day, so tonight I thought I'd portray one of the strongest female characters ever written, Scarlett O'Hara. <coughs> Thank you! Um, I haven't read the book, but I have, I have seen the movie, and she has a lot of great lines, so I thought I'd do them all. Um, the, uh, I have ten minutes, right? Right? Um, okay, um, I'll just go faster. So, without further ado, Gone with the Wind by Margaret M Mitchell. Oh, man, that's too tight. I can't breathe. I don't know why I have to wear this old corset for anyway. Everybody knows I've got the tiniest waist in the state. I just can't wait to get to that party at Bobo. Seems like everybody will be there. Hi, everybody. I'm here. Now, who shall I let take me to first? I think I'll let you, Charles Hamilton. Yum, yum, good grits. Excuse me, everyone. I need to go find Ashley Wills. Ashley, can I see you for a moment in the library? I love you, Ashley. What? You're going to marry Melanie Hamilton? She's your cousin. Do you want to have two-headed babies or something? <laughs> That's right. Get out. I'm so mad. I think I'll just throw this mess. Who's down on the sofa eavesdropping on me, Ashley? Red Butler? Well, I think you're a scoundrel, and I'll never forgive you. That's right. I'm leaving. Marry Melanie Lilly. I'll show him. Charles, let's get married. Don't dump it on. You be careful in that lawn out here. <laughs> what child is dead? Well, how's Ashley? I think I'll go to Atlanta. Yes, I'm Pity Pat. Of course I'm Pity Pat. Wish I didn't have to wear this old black dress. How long does I would have to stay in mourning anyway? Well, I've read about the fancy meeting you here. Dance? It'd be scandalous. One, two, three, one, two, three. And you're leaving? Well, bye now. Dear <laughs> lady, I'm bored. I need to find me another husband. Why, look, it's Frank Kennedy. My sister Sue Ellis Bow. Hi, Frank, let's get married. Dum dum -de dum Frank, let's build us a sawmill. Get rid of Frank, I was on my way to the sawmill the other day and a scoundrel attacked me. You have to go and avenge my honor. This wedding's intolerable. What Frank's been shot? He's dead. Fail be dee. Why, there comes Melanie. Hi, Melanie. You're gonna have a baby. Chrissy, go fetch the doctor. What took you so long? What do you mean he can't come? Well, you'll just have to be in charge. What do you mean you don't know nothing about birth and no babies? Well, Melanie, all I can say is push. Oh, it's a boy. <laughs> hey, I want to go home to Tara. Pretty throw a baby in the wagon, but it's taking us home. Oh, my, let us run into the ground. Oh, my God. Ralph, right, you're leaving us to join the army? How dare you kiss me? Well, there's Tara. I'm home. What if Mama's dead? No! I'm hungry. No, sir. I'll go to the garden. As good as my witness, I'll never be hungry again. Daddy, you get off that horse before you break your neck. Oh, Daddy's dead. Well, I'm home again. There's somebody in the house. Why, it's a Yankee. What do you want, Yankee? Well, I'll shoot you before I let you take our food because I'll never be hungry again. Bang! Melanie, help me. I just shot a Yankee. <laughs> You want money for Tara's taxes or you'll take the plantation? Where am I going to get money from? Rent. I'll go to rent. I can't afford fabric for a new dress, but if I can't think of something, it's courage for us. Mary, bring a needle. I've got an idea. Red, I need money. Marry you? Well, why not? Don't <laughs> you know? Red, I'm going to have a baby. Oh, it's a girl. I think I'll call her Bonnie. Bonnie, you get off that horse before you break your neck. Oh, Bonnie's dead! <laughs> well, I wonder. Red, where are you going? You're leaving me. But Red, I realize now I love you. What will I do without you? You don't give a what? <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to get him back, but I can't think about that right now. I'll have to think about it tomorrow. I'm too tired. After all, tomorrow is another day. <laughs> 